Welcome to Bigfoot and the Bunny. This is a couple's journey into the mysterious, the unknown, and, and the, the paranormal. paranormal. I'm your host, Chris Carr. And I'm your host, Kristen Johnson. Together, Together we, we are Bigfoot, Bigfoot and, and the, the Bunny. Bunny. Welcome to Bigfoot and the Bunny. I'm your host, Chris Carr. And I am Kristen Johnson, I think, again today. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Hello from Rhode Island. How are you guys? How's it going? Some of you may or may not know it's going to be Kristen's birthday on Monday. Yeah. So if you're in the chats tonight and want to say happy birthday, we'd appreciate it. And uh, all that good stuff. Hello, beautiful. Um, we also know that uh, Mr. Howard Petrie is doing a fundraiser at some point tonight. Uh, he may be out in the audience. I'm not sure. I talked to him a little while ago. Uh, I may be stopping in and have some links for that. And he's raised money for uh, uh, Jessica Marie Petrie Foundation, which was his daughter, and also uh, Fear Fest, which is going to be an amazing Paracon event we are trying desperately to go to. And I see lots of happy birthdays out there. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Wait. Joanne Stewart. So there he is. Power. Hey, I'm Marie. Scott Horn. Scott Horn. Mr. Scott Horn. From What's Sturgis. Up, buddy? From Sturgis. Thank you, Terry. Of Horn Paranormal Research. And uh, right behind me, actually, over my shoulder, you can see an EM pump uh, made by Scott. And as well as some other toys. And uh, paranormal stuff, devices. I think this is what we're going to get into tonight and discuss with our friends uh the return of the technomancers <laughs> katie and katie stafford who make up supernatural inc uh supernatural inc is a paranormal research and development investigative team they are para historians who have a unique um skill to their research uh they are the creators of the nanocom the nanocom 2 ink boxes the ghost helmet reginald randall yes um and more <laughs> Uh, featured on the Travel Channel, uh, co-founder Katie Stafford is in five of the eight episodes and custom-built equipment for Portals of Hell and is a technical consultant featured on Ghosts of Morgan City. Uh, he was also a uh, featured cast member on uh, Ghosts of, Devil, of the Devil's Perch as well as being featured on Mysteries Decoded. Katie is an avid historian and has been featured in several documentaries and recently won an award for editorial by the Academy of Interactive and Visual Arts. Let's bring them right on and talk some intra trans. Oh, I can't even say it. ITC. There you go. ITC is <laughs> right? working still, well. I, got, I need a nap. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Welcome hey, back. Yo. Hey, yo. How's everybody doing? How are you doing? Doing great. How Bye. are you guys? Are we hey, just Kristen. doing. So Hello, you guys. everybody. Hey, in, no. in the chat. Happy birthday, Greg. Happy yep. birthday, Greg. Scott. Thank you, Gregory Costa. Yep, because it's Greg Costa. Kristen. Thank you. All you guys. <laughs> so All you tell us same we birthday. To, well, we it's got Scott to meet Horn. you guys. Yeah, tomorrow. So oh, Scott yeah, and Scott just oh. tomorrow. So this is a great right, birthday weekend sorry. for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, it's birthday weekend. We are just like full on celebrating. Yeah, it's just a whole weekend. Shaking right. off the thunk okay. of yesterday's Scott. celebration. <laughs> and uh no we're so glad to see you guys we just saw you in Pickens, south carolina at the haunting of them at the mill at the mill thanks for having us the first and it was so nice to yes. see you guys thanks for having us here yeah. and it was nice seeing you guys there it was wonderful it was awesome it was, it was awesome well. we couldn't and what wait. a great event family you know uh, put on by you guys brandon cooper our, our shaman brother yes the don't raven. squeeze the shaman. Don't squeeze the, the shaman. Yeah. Oh, yes. He's a good guy. Raven. I, I, don't know. I didn't have any part in it. I, yeah, that was all Brandon. <laughs> it was mostly Brandon. Uh, Brandon, uh, yeah, obviously he did He did do all the he, he, groundwork. and you know, All the there, groundwork. There was, oh, yeah. there We've never been there. Well, we've been there, but. It's, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't. That's another story. Yeah. We've been there way long time ago. Yeah. No, Is that right? It's a great yeah, place. There are really petroglyphs did. there. There are these old buildings, old cabins, and uh, a mill. And there is something about that land. It's I mean, the land, I believe. You know, you look at Not the different the, buildings, uh, and there yeah, might be the buildings, but that land, there is energy there. 
Yeah, the petroglyphs it said it all, you know. Yeah, it's uh, it's yeah we were in there with you at that point, and uh, Mary Lynn Bast, who's in the comments and stuff, we were like, wow. I'm sorry, Katie. No, I was just wondering. I want to know if he if he uh, did the Faraday cage thing that I wanted him to do in there. I don't know if he had time. Did not. But the building I, was a Faraday cage enough. It was like a giant steel building, uh, you know. So we, yeah, we had, you had said you were working on something to do. I I had heard you. You had said something to me about that to that effect, and I was like, oh man, I would love to go in there and and watch that. But well, it was crazy. Yeah, Austin, you know, uh, we, we went ahead and had Austin do his thing in, in there for the most part. Uh, we, you know, I did a little bit of my laser work, but it was just a little bit. Austin had some really cool stuff going inside. <clears throat> and then we had the, we well, <laughs> we set up the laser audio transmitter outside, too, mm. uh, at the creek. And, but, you know, it's hard to do that stuff outside and then relay what's happening to, like, a group of people that's there. So, you know, yeah. Uh, in hindsight, I would have scrapped that that experiment for the event. Yeah, there, there was an inter interesting theory that a guest who had never um, done a paranormal investigation asked me that he, he had said that his grandmother told him uh, – he goes, is it true that spirits can't cross rivers or bodies of water? And I said, well, I, I said, um, what, what like, uh, culture is she from? Because certain cultures do, do believe that. Mm -hmm. And that is a theory. Um, I think it depends on what it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There a you lot go of bodies that. of water typically hold a spirit. Yeah. When we say spirit, that's a pretty, it's a little lack. You gotta exactly it is a term weird. for something that we don't know what it is really until we exactly. can nail it down. So it could be some truth to that as far as like uh you know like is it a elemental an evil spirit or is it you know oh. or yeah or oh. is it an elemental maybe that's uh polarized or you know opposed to that whatever that yeah. you know yeah. the element the water. I tended to think there was an elemental in the With the crick in the over crick. There. Hello, that in the old creek. in the old crick. Oh, I got a crick in, in my back, guys. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I got run over by a bus five. today. So <laughs> the crick's over back. yonder. The crick's over yonder. <laughs> betwixt betwixt the watering. Yon the yonder is a store, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. As the flow as the flow cries. Holy oh, shit! Yeah. As the crow flies. It's, the crow flies. <laughs> it's about twelve minutes. Oh, betwixt, yeah. betwixt from front, them trees yeah. from front to back it takes yeah. a little while to walk all those grounds yep and it, it's the the haggard nice. mill right because i kept mispronouncing hey this. kim greg haggard or haggard terry and the, ho it, and the holler haggard mills. that's next haggard. to the holler the holler holla the holler see a holler holla right. Yeah. Terry says I'm southern now. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I mean, I've been any time in the south. He's I, got a good, he's got a good, oh, like a good radio voice, though. He's like, and, eh, you know, he could be like, and I'm down at the know. BFW hall, yeah. we're doing bingo tonight. And <laughs> bingo tonight. G35. <laughs> oh, he does have a really good voice. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have the Massachusetts, you know, accent going on. So I saw it down at the, Massachusetts. Hey, now. Down at the VFW hall. <laughs> we park our cars wherever we can you can't just park your car there. wherever you can get it <laughs> Kim Horn uh, said crick is how I was raised to say it yeah that's right I think we heard the word crick a few times it's that's right I think it's a crick the first thing it has something to do with size also like a crick and a creek oh, really yeah, yeah. that's crick. a thing is that right <laughs> is that correct or is that Kimberly would know because she she uh, yes yeah. What did she used to do? I can't remember what she used to do. Oh, she used to. I think a creek is smaller than a creek, and a creek is smaller than a river. That makes I sense. Know. I don't know. I feel, I feel like I'm just it's making that up. That feels like some shit that would be true. <laughs> Terry's got it down to it being exactly <laughs> one foot wider than a, a creek. Okay. So it's just a step up from I a creek, and there's a creek. Wait, Wait, some you one foot. I get man made and. Uh, regular, so I have no idea. I don't know, but there was a, a crick or a creek a running through, and uh, we did get some activity pretty close to that bridge. 
yeah, that was really did. unusual. Yeah. Kim yeah, got yeah. some. Well, great you know, great, but, like a uh, water emits its own can create its own EM field. Absolutely. Sure, and that's kind that's of the kind of like railroad wheel, right? The railroad tracks uh, haunting that wheel? occur along railroad I, tracks, hauntings yeah. that occur mm -hmm. along bodies, moving bodies of water. Mm -hmm. um, My you know. fish tank was low. The filth, the water was low, so the filter was making noise so i told the spirits in my house i'm gonna put this black device here which it was a recorder put it on top of it i said i'll be back in 10 minutes if you have something to say to me please do and sure shit that sure enough there was um there, all you hear is in your language i'm so i know right right PG this is a family <laughs> environment <I'm sorry. laughs> but it would say Kristen. <laughs> it would say my name through the the filter noise we and it would uh, go, Kristen, and then you hear, yeah. psh, 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 and you well, hear, yeah, that's I'm tell them about our right bowl, yeah, bowl bowl. done what? it with the dryer. Bowl bowl. Bowl light. No, well, yeah, I mean, well, okay, so no, <clears throat> well, no, okay, so that's a good point, actually. Katie yeah. makes Katie brings up a good point. It I had to just, I had to think about how I could tie this in, right? So it makes okay, I'm trying to, well, I was trying to, I had to figure out how Katie got there in her head first but she okay. says so katie says uh hey sh you want to tell them about the the toilet bowl light oh and i was like oh yeah okay well hold on like how do we get there okay so yes you were talking about using your your uh, filter yes and mm -hmm. then recording evps that's okay. a basic like oh, common household thing right so then katie's yeah. thinking toilet bowl light common yeah. household thing Paranormal activity, I don't know. toilet bowl, toilet, <laughs> toilet bowl light activity. We got, we okay. get that. I'm pretty yeah. sure I've seen those so, on Wish. They're yeah. kind of like LED. Well, yeah, you could get the toilet bowl lights that light up, like yeah. whenever Dramatic you effect, go to right? move in front of the toilet, right? Sleep. So we have one in our bathroom, and our, you know, our our master bathroom kind of sits right off to the side, and you can see it, like if you roll over in the bed or whatever, right? Like a disco in there, man. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> man. That thing just goes off on its own. I'm like, I'm yeah, like, make sure you flush the toilet. I'm like, make sure you flush. <laughs> well, when you flush the toilet, we've actually had. Oh, this is bad. This you guys just went down a rabbit hole with us. <laughs> well, damn, you give me a good idea now. Now we should put we should put an EVP re reporter. Well, yeah, we should be a muff sensor in there. So, like on the heard... top of the toilet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. I, I've been in the kitchen where I've heard some residual. <laughs> right. Oh my god. <laughs> Gonna get some residual activity. Oh my god. Maybe some. Oh shit. Poochergeist. Poochergeist. Oh. Poochergeist. Ah. Perhaps. Perhaps. I've been in the kitchen. Where, uh, no, Chris Spirit. is low hanging fruit. Sorry, where Terry uh, says bear pee. I've been in the kitchen where Chris has been taking a shower, and I swear to God, in the shower noise and in the, the water, I heard a man and a woman talking to each yeah. other. So I scream at Chris and go, Don't move, whatever you're doing, don't move now. I need to listen to this. And he's like, What? Oh, yeah, we got to like, And if you open yourself yeah. to the idea, like it happens more oh, and more. And I yeah. it was they're, they're, we were all kind of hanging out, and I had to pee really bad, and I was peeing, and I could hear voices in my pee. So there you go. True story. True story. Well, True story. well we're True actually, we're actually working on something. <laughs> we're actually trying to develop a device. Should I say anything? Uh, I don't know. Man? I don't know. Should you you're say anything? I don't know what you're gonna say. Nope. I Bill. Well, we're actually trying to. Uh, I hate it when I don't know what she's gonna say. <laughs> you know, you're the I one that she's like well we're actually working on a new device oh, i have no idea i have like a whole bunch of schematics out for it it's it's a form of communication through water well okay yeah so that's what i was get. that's what i was gonna say okay. about what you had said uh is that the water is a like a, a, a common commonly used uh, random noise or white noise you know so that's that's and they've done that for a long time water you know is, is white noise uh it's the same thing as like recording actually you get a lot of good like stacky acoustic type sounds like sounds that stack up on on top of each other in the yeah. room uh yeah. in the in the acoustic space of the room Something so to do with that that frequency that frequency that... and the vibration yes we yeah agree. yeah yeah mary lynn 
Yeah, water is a good conduit. Yeah, I yes. think I think yeah. that's the equivalent of saying that, like you know, um, it's a good medium. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, if you think of a ITC is like a art form or something, you know, maybe <clears throat> then you have to have some sort of medium for some type some type of artistic medium for the artist to produce the art in, right? So you have paint, or you know, there's watercolor, oil paint, whatever. Uh, you know, airbrush, you, you name it, there's all different types of medium. So, you know, that's the difference between audio, uh, white noise is, is uh, one type of medium. And then you have your visual white noise is another type of medium. And they're all different ways for the these spirits or whatever's trying to communicate with us to stir the paint, so to speak, and yeah. tell us it, what they it want. It seems like the conditions have to be right for that, though. It, yes, it's, we agree. Yeah. Yeah, and some of that is in the hands of the practitioner, I think, as well. You is know? that a metaphor or an, an analogy? Which one is that? I don't know which that one is... that is. Mm. Is that a metaphor? I haven't I got to the metaphors that. yet, but we will. I'm like, which one we is will, that? Is we will that I mean, uh, you know, ITC is, is an artistic medium. Is that a metaphor? Uh, it's an, a more analogy. Not really. Uh, not really. Where's my phone? It's like, <laughs> it's like that. How about that? instrumental trans communication the words yes. i could not get out when we started the show yeah just occurred to me like oh duh <laughs> okay. well, yeah. they i mean there's um a lot of itc researchers all all around the world i mean in spain um mm-hmm. in germany uh all, france they're everywhere they're all over there's Absolutely. there's a lot of people out there doing like itc work that don't really just I they mean, don't they don't even that. call it ITC work. It's not even ITC to them. It's just something that they do. Their audio files or, or <clears throat> there's sure. this one guy um, on what? There's this one guy on the internet. What? What was so funny? He's like, there's this one guy. Remnants, what? please. I haven't got the one guy. <laughs> well, no, okay. There's lots of strange people on the internet. <laughs> this particular guy. No, I, this guy does some really cool <laughs> stuff. Oh, okay electronics wise he he oh, wow. uh yeah his website is like called macumbista m a c u m b i s t a i think he, I, yeah he's in luxembourg yeah he's germany. in luxembourg yeah i don't know if he's german or not uh he's he posts a lot of stuff in english yeah. so i don't know but uh he oh. makes these really interesting audio bending devices and stuff yeah. and he does stuff with vector uh vector tracing with the with uh old vector crt uh monitors like uh asteroids and games like yeah that. you remember the games right mm-hmm. the vector games i know you probably remember those games right yes yes yeah, so so those games are now the monitors are super valuable <laughs> They're like crazy yeah. valuable because they don't make them anymore. So I used to have one of the like the, the home version it was called a vector. Vista, I think it is Latin. Sorry, that's all right. And it had like a little vector monitor in it, little CRT. Yeah, and, yeah. It had they had asteroids, tempest. That's yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. So this guy will take uh, and he'll visualize like sound and stuff in mm. this in this vector monitor, and it's nuts. It's it's crazy. He makes some crazy stuff. So. I want to say, if you Google it, it's Macumbista, M-A-C-U-M-B-I-S-T-A. I I don't think it's dot, dot, dot G-E. Like, I think it's German, German website or something. Yeah. I'll have to check them out. I I love anything up and coming. I mean, we love the work of like Annabella Cardoso with the direct response stuff. And she's just like, you know, white noise on one shortwave radio. Well, yeah, like, but uh, well, you know, yeah, this guy does. I don't think he even does it to speak to spirits, but it's almost like he. To, I don't. I don't know. It's like he or... does it, and he put he he does these you know per, these uh, performances and stuff, and he has these things, and but like uh, it's like it seems to me like it would be a perfect medium to use for ITC, and like he see it's he seems like kind of like uh you know like he would be into the paranormal and stuff right mm. and uh if you look at the website you, you get what i mean <clears throat> so it's I, but i don't think he's even doing it like publicly for the purpose of itc yet i, I see some sort of potential in that yeah. you know what i mean yeah. but yeah. like uh yeah there's so there's people like that and there's people like uh you know korg 
uh, a lot of the a lot of german audio engineers back in the day were like founding people for a lot of this uh yes. a lot of the ITC. ITC. itc work that's been done what is it uh, rendive yeah rendive 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 we always say they're wrong but yes. yes yeah we're from new england right however you pronounce it <laughs> i don't know i'm from south carolina so i'm probably not <laughs> pronouncing it right and that's okay i'm used to that that's okay we are too <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, he broke a lot of new ground, obviously. And I we like the work of the TV folks. And I, I can't remember the guy that pioneered this. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, where you're taking a few frames from a video doing a feedback loop yes. with a video oh, camera. Video and then yeah, that's pretty neat, too. Like, really some of those yeah. pictures I've seen are so amazing. So that KD wow. calls some awesome at Ashmore. We're well, trying to fish develop box. that ourselves here. The fish box were the first ones to do video mm-hmm. feedback fish loop box, yeah. itc work i couldn't mm-hmm. think of what it was if it was a fish box or, fish box yeah. and, and then, yeah, they were they were oh. german so that was that was um, all done in like um in europe all nice. that work was done in europe mm-hmm. that's a joke between us what you laughing at nothing uh, damn it laughing we, at me? We were, no god no i just want to know no it's not you no it's me it was oh. heavy I I we were talking about the it's me it's you remember you. It's me. uh-oh where'd y'all go uh-oh hold on see that's what happens it's paranormal <laughs> paranormal what the hell happened uh-oh there we hold go on. what does that mean hold on Hold on. Oh, that's right. I'm not wearing my fake lashes, so oh I'm not. God. I'm not in business mode that. today, folks. There it is. <laughs> you keep saying Sorry, that. I you spilled something. Like, I. Oh, that's least, what you were laughing at. Candies. I spilled them on a board. Oh. And um, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's remnants, yeah. and that's where we were going with the the residual effects of residuals. Yeah. <laughs> residuals. Yeah. I was, residual I was trying to gear. watch a serious like documentary and I just could not stop laughing throughout the whole Grace, two hour documentary. Yeah. So that's where he was going with that. And he he was we weren't laughing at you, we were laughing at no. me saying germ because that's what they were clicking and clicking before before they had we don't mean to come on here and take over your show. I don't mean to do that. That's, that's <laughs> see what Greg, Greg says that. there. Katie. That's not my intention at all. I just want to. We'll, we'll back you up. Uh, well, it's okay. It's fine. We're going to back you up. Pick up, pick up, pick up, whatever. Absolutely, ownership. I want you guys to talk about whatever yes, you want to talk please. about in the uh, future of ITC. Is there a great place to start? Sorry about the the gummy mishap over here. Oh, you're good. 2023. I, I didn't touch it. <laughs> it was my bad. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys want to talk about? Well, um. I'm usually good. I'm usually good at, at uh, just jumping in and interrupting other people when they're talking. So if you guys That's start awesome. talking, yeah. I'll just take right off. I, I all right. All right. All right. The well, the viewers have is, well, let's see. Katie beats me to it. I, I, I'm. I. I'd like to hear. Did you get that? making me nervous with that thing. <laughs> Come on, folks. I, mean, I want to hear some of y'all's you theories. Just, you have a boogeyman. But, Quit waving that thing around in I do not. Face. I'm just no, right. not coordinated. <laughs> it looks dirty. Yeah, well, this <laughs> is seven year old drinking on me. Oh, it's fine. It's I'm, a family I, show. Hey, hey, no, I'm bro. not in business mode. And I'm it's not a, working right now. Show, Wait, hold baby. on. I have to be business. This is a professional podcast. No, I'm no. We, no, no yeah, sure it is. <laughs> we are professionally unprofessional. Yep. I am and it is a thing. Mode. It's a niche. I like that. But we need yeah, to be more professional, okay? <laughs> Show the box and tell Look. them what happened and what we got with the the lowest. Yeah, we will. We'll, we'll. Okay, we get there. I think they were just about to say something, but we're gonna. No, no. Our Nanocom two. Yes, right? Nanocom. Uh, Nanocom. This is a two. I think this is a rare bird, as far as I know. Yes, that's that is a, a rare bird. That's a. Is that an SX or the? Well, that's the two. That's when they were. That's the two. It's like an in between. But that's what you make now. That's standard. So Greg's yeah. is still no, that's an old one there. No. Um, yeah, we Nanocom have one of two time. and then Nanocom S. Right? It's just like Greg's though. I thought. It's just no, kind of between uh, the S and the X. I oh, think, it's not like right? Greg's. There's a speed oh. control on there, and even yeah, Greg's and I are, are different. A, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Um, oh, we, we about Greg's our, yeah. Our experiments like a, a lot, you know. Uh, the oh, they are. Um. Good stuff. 
And I, I love that you're always in a stage of like kind of like developing the next thing. The tinkerer. Our friend Reggie, Reginald. Yes. Reynolds. Yep. Yeah. Randall. He's a hoot. He was, yeah. yeah. Randall. I told Katie. Katie I always say Katie, Reynolds. It's uh, I, he's, we were watching you, Katie, just before we left. <laughs> and we were watching you thread the, um, the wires through the helmet, the ghost helmet, whatever helmet you want yeah, to call I, it. Yeah, I hadn't got to that yet. Yeah, it's the ghost helmet. Going. He has the ghost helmet. And Reggie, our friend, is the one who... Oh, Reginald. Uh, yeah, Reginald. Uh, the helmet, yeah. That can go... <laughs> yeah, that's a good one that yeah. I made him. Oh, that's quite a thing. So oh, he has a helmet. Like, it's a god uh, helmet, yeah. but it's like your own take on the god helmet thing. Using magnets and electromagnetism yes. around the brain. Uh, you want to tell us about that a little bit? Because we were yeah, about to so, learn it too long, but then again, it's he is his own animal. And it's not radiation. Oh. No, it's not radiation. It's, it's, it's not like cell phone radiation or anything, no. obviously. It's electromagnets. It would be the equivalent to, uh, you know, as far as like, is it dangerous for you? Does it make pizza? When you Sign a waiver? Does it make It does pizza? if you're doing it and you're wearing the helmet, then it is, then it is. Frying your no, it and, fries eggs, not pizza. I'm in kidding. essence, the helmet <laughs> is also making pizza. This is your brain. This is your brain. Uh, go ahead. We're go sorry. Ahead, I'm sorry. So there you go. No, I was no, I was saying uh, there's your answer. The helmet makes pizza if you're making pizza and you're no. wearing the helmet. <laughs> well, the helmet is, oh, the Richie has an, an amazing mask. So and you, plus, spirit. you look really cute wearing it. Oh, yeah. that's his wife says, oh, my God, you look like my it's a Patron light. It's, it's pretty cool, though. You know, I love the, the lights on the inside and stuff. It's, it is actually pretty awesome. Yeah, it was. We, we love that. And I, I don't think you, you've made a lot of those. Like, they're, it's a pretty rare bird no, as right. well. We're not making those. Yeah, right. 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 Yeah, I don't really make them. I don't make them that often. Every once in a while, I'll make one. Somebody contacts me and they want one. I'll I, make one. Every I believe we have one more to make for yeah, someone. Uh, yeah, one. Yeah, I think one. And you, one more. And when I one talked to you, one. yeah, the other day, you said you keep yours, your first one, KB. You keep your first one for yourself and you don't, yeah, you weren't making any more and you just keep using that one. Scott asks, if, if the, is the helmet yeah. emitting EMF like a pump while you're wearing it? Um, Yes, it is. So it's it's kinda, not like an EM, EMF. Yeah. Well, with the uh, it's cool, the same thing. EMF, it's the same concept. Oh, because of the mm -hmm. magnets. Yeah, it's the, the same concept. Right. Mm -hmm. So kind of like a vortex. So, like, if you put a, a tri field up to it, then it's gonna you're gonna see the tri field kicking back and forth, and that's because it's producing a a, a constantly changing, uh, like a cycle. It goes in a loop. Uh, magnetic field and so yes it is uh, essentially like a uh, em pump and it does like produce a strong little em field around it and so you are kind of uh, doing two different things while when you're wearing the helmet you're producing uh, a electromagnetic field fluctuation um, moving device like uh you know the helmet's is fluctuating the em coil yeah he programs it uh and then but also you're you're bombarding your temporal lobe which is mm -hmm. some people think is the center of your spiritual um experiences you know or our ability to um to experience spiritual experiences uh so you're bombarding that area and some people think that it's uh that these could be hallucinations that are um persinger persinger that, was well the... there's some people think they're 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 artificial hallucinations mm -hmm. just simply produced by our brain waves getting confused under these specific circumstances and it's, there's some people who believe that they that, that it does actually have a a paranormal um a connection or you mm -hmm. know some sort is, that it is useful in some way to see supernatural occurrences or, or whatever like something that might open the, the wearer of the helmet to more psychic phenomena if i'm not mistaken the magnets kind of charge off in a circular fashion around the head well they go they go in a in a circle on the sides like this so this side mm -hmm. is moving around so you have four so it it's in a in a pattern and it does that pattern and then the opposite side mirrors that pattern 
and and you can't hear it like you can't hear the coils firing and um also with the deprivation with the lights kd has the lights um kind of help what well, isn't it like some people use the was it the blindfold with the lights on it to help them oh, yeah, relax the and help them meditate right? like with the red light yes. kind of thing going on well, yeah well not red um yeah he, there's red leds on it yeah but you also and he he uh, we're most okay so people react our brains react mm -hmm. like more uh efficiently to red light right or to you know to red flashing lights as opposed to any other lights or whatever right and, but our eyes also do and it, but there's also an interesting um an interesting spot there between the darkness and the full fade of the red light so when you're when those lights are uh flashing they're they're not just flashing just randomly they're flashing at the same frequency that your brain works at at different uh, when it's operating um producing different brain waves so there's the theta waves gamma waves beta waves alpha waves and there's all in the electromagnetic yeah. spectrum I can't remember the last one. waves right there's a, theta, theta waves. waves beta waves alpha theta, waves theta, yeah. and right. gamma waves yeah mm -hmm. so so all those uh you experience normally and you know, different times of the day, depending on what you're doing, depending on what your body's doing, depending on what you're consciously doing. So uh, what the hell, but there's certain uh, brain waves that are more uh, beneficial or, or indicative actually of like um, meditation, right? So I want to say, I hadn't looked at it in a while, but I want to say it's it's theta right. waves. Yeah, you're in a deep one. Like we talk about hemisync a lot, or binaural beats on the show. Beats, yes. You know, we're, we're big fans of that. And like the gateway. Yeah, binaural thing. beats. So binaural yeah. beats. So so the helmet. Uh, that's something that I'm adding to it is the binaural beats because there's there's code for that. I think that's code, binaural yeah. beats. But yeah, let's see what that is. It's brain entrainment. Yeah. 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 So so like the binaural beats is audio brain entrainment, right? And all that's doing is just trying to, now binaural beats is it's a cool little trick. I don't know how much more effective it is than just playing the standard tone that your mm -hmm. brain is equaling in your head yeah, because binaural yeah. beats you know you know the thing with binaural beats, right? Is you if mm -hmm. you play let, let's say you play 450. Yeah. Hertz, hertz in yeah. one ear and you play 400 hertz in the other ear then you're going to hear 425 hertz right the difference that's what you yeah, yeah, your brain yeah. is going to uh is going to interpret it as 425 hertz and that yeah, so that's, was like a theta state or a, a you know a, a alpha state are different states right right, and it's it's just right yeah and that, yeah and so it's the same what so it's the same data. thing so There's right a lot so of questions i see them katie <laughs> trying to match up your brain oh i'm just trying to get through this question before so so i don't leave it unanswered no, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Just trying to get through the yeah yeah, so, so, yeah because i don't i have a problem i have a problem of trailing off and then i just want to ever answer what it seems like i'm doing right now answer answer so yeah, uh so, so yeah so brain entrainment is basically trying to match your brain to the frequency that you want it to be at so if if human if the human brain is typically in uh, gamma is producing gamma waves let's say gamma waves during meditation then we want to hit you with a whole bunch of gamma waves audio vision both audio auditory and visually mm -hmm. uh because you know uh that the flashing lights will sync your brain waves to the flashing lights along with the audio so that's why i'm going to add the audio to the helmet in the future but that, that's why I mean, the lights are there now. Yeah. So they do look cool, but they're not just there to look cool or to make we you tried. see creepy stuff. But you can <laughs> turn the lights out because he had the, the, the uh, ghost helmet group or something. And people were giving feedback. And they're like, hey, is there well, Some people are sensitive. prone to epileptic yes. Yes. seizures yes. and stuff like that. So. And they know that. Because right. right. we're not allowed to ask their help. We don't oh, own that. Like, you it. know, you got to be careful. If and you, you got to have them epilepsy. sign that waiver, too. You don't want nothing to do with them. We wanna, yeah. But, you know, like people, yeah. usually people with epilepsy or who are prone to epileptic yeah. seizures know they're prone to epileptic seizures. They're not going to go anywhere near something like 
a Sonic the Hedgehog game that's going to make you right. <laughs> freaking have a seizure. Obviously, I'm not going to do that, right? It's like if I'm allergic to peanut butter, definitely allergic yeah, to it. Exactly. I'm not, thank God, because I love that stuff. Yep. Right. No, I agree. No, yeah. I agree. agree Nothing wrong with <laughs> guys. For the rest of us, you, you don't go anywhere near peanut butter, you right? You like, see him walking around with a half gallon of milk and peanut butter with a spoon all weekend. Dude. That's what he eats. <laughs> Who's that yeah. now? And anyways, uh, no, I, we think anyway. this stuff is great. I love the experimental nature of it, too. We, recently on Greg's Metaphysical Crossing show, yes, uh, we, we tried running um, a spirit box alongside something with a, a Bluetooth track, and I ran binaural beats behind the, the spirit box running just to kind of push us into that meditative state, you know, like on the fly, because you're trying to get down and you're doing breathing exercises, trying yeah. to meditate and be open to psychic phenomena. I think that's a wonderful idea. Pump into binaural beats. It's a kind of a shortcut and won't necessarily be 100% there, but it'll help a person get into the right state to be able to interpret that data. Well, also the spirits as well. They uh, Spirits also, uh, depending on, well, that's what I have found in my research. Um, I'll play uh, certain music. And I mean, I have, uh, there's, I mean, I post a lot of videos, but I know uh, one place in particular, uh, I was playing a song by Adam Prescott and uh, all of a sudden I was, I was like, so your, your spirit parted, but not your soul. And the light in the other room turned on. Another way you could turn it on is by pulling a string. And af after that, I mean, it was pretty active probably I would say for maybe for the next three to five minutes after that, it was like direct response. It was like very, um, but it, it was kind of profound in a way, really. Um, yeah. It's it, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. Biofeedback. Sure. Biofeedback. Biofeedback's uh, cool. Uh, like Greg it. asked what the <laughs> recommended time per session was with the ghost helmet. Five minutes. No, I, no, absolutely I, not. I, I, it, it's fine. I don't know. Somebody's sugar's low or something. I don't. Yeah. No, see, Katie. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm now I have to speak business. So, but go ahead. Go. Ahead. He's well, the one it's who's not made a product. It. It's not. It's like not a product. product. We did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you get it, that's yours. That ain't ours. Exactly. Oh, we yeah. agree with you. Where's where I was going before? Yeah. Love y'all. Well, so I know, we so I was, get on so, Reggie. Don't wear it you too have much. To, you have to wear the helmet for long enough obviously i mean how long does it take you to get into a meditative state exactly i think he's there I mean, you know so, so there's that there's the meditate there's the amount Everybody's of time that it takes different. you into the meditative state right and that's that's not including the time that you Pardon want me? to spend in that in that space when you get there you know right and uh would you get where you want to be as far as your brain waves and your um and the, and just the atmosphere, you know, because that's the point of wearing the helmet mm -hmm. is to have an experience. Um, I don't. I, and you honestly, definitely don't want to be scared, honestly, like going in being think, nervous or anything like that. Yeah, that would take away from being able to relax. No, no, you yeah. do want to go in. You want to go in feeling whatever you feel. You would go in feeling whatever you feel, and you do want to. So if you if if uh, you do want to be scared, you want to be vulnerable. Actually, in reality. When you do when you do the experiment, you want to be vulnerable. You want to park yourself in the most. But I found people quit so right. well, so soon because they're afraid to. that something's gonna like they can't. I, I can't explain. Like they're I gonna can't explain it. Or something. I mean, it's the only the only functional way to do the experiment yeah. is to isolate someone and have them sit. And they have to they have to be they have to feel vulnerable right so yes. vulnerability is a huge part of our defense mechanisms our coping mechanisms all that stuff and all these things are are part of how we how we deflect you know activity all the time right like how our brain tells us oh that's not that's that stands out from the norm so it deflects things that stand out from the norm mm -hmm. so so we don't deal with it, right? So if you really want to have a, a good personal experience, I feel like core, like anyway, most times you need like helmet or no helmet. Yeah. You have to be you have to be vulnerable. You have to put yourself in a place of vulnerability 
if you are trying to get or experience activity. If you're not oh. trying to experience activity, I, I, a lot of times people end up, you know, having it anyway because they are in, uh, accidentally putting themselves in this place of vulnerability, not realizing the place is haunted or whatever and going exactly. about doing whatever they're doing. And that's when they have their experiences. And then people. Well, come some in. don't even get to that experience. So it's the problem because they do go in. Uh, with this uh, pre pre conceived pre preconceived yeah yeah, yeah. And, and they um get just they work themselves up and it's like well just yeah. calm down it's you know and that when you get the the really not negative but that's when you get the really chaotic spirits with you when they're when you're in that state you have yes. to yes so yes. slow and because you know we're on Great Costa's show as well uh what. It, we're met you know we um what do you call it uh what do we do As we, rotate. The, we rotate thank you it was the word I was yeah looking. yes yeah we and uh we i we watch you guys and we do the same thing i sit there as well and i channel but i make sure that we are protected and greg does yes. too before yes. and after and that's what a lot of people yes. need to do just yes. protect yourself from you know the negative you do not want an attachment my god no you know and coming through and saying what you're saying most of the time none of us remember what we're saying because we are channeling yeah so yeah spirit. well anything that encourages yeah. that channeling i think is really interesting work uh for sure whether it's uh your white noise or a magnetics you know in the anything. brain have you done any kind of like brain mapping where you, a person wears like that kind of brain scanner? And uh, dude, I would love to have, I would love to do some. We've done blood that. pressure and yeah, basic, heart basic rate. stuff, but no, yeah. no, never like yeah. brain mapping though. We're that gonna would be start awesome. brain mapping. I be really want to see activity this. on your brain, like while mm -hmm. you're wearing the helmet. That would be dope. Mm -hmm. Oh, great mirrors of spirits. I don't know if the. I don't yeah. Know if, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Hey. Really, you could. Uh, <laughs> there's ways to map your brain. You could probably do it without interfering, yeah. you know. There are tools out there that you can. Yeah, yeah but everything is an interference, though. You know what it, I mean? It, yeah, it is. Everything is an interference. Like when they used to do this, um, uh, when when Mike Michael Persinger is the guy who came up with the God Helmet idea, and because he uh, saw a correlation between uh, fluctuating a natural low intensity fluctuating magnetic fields uh, produced by the earth mm -hmm. and, and places of worship uh, yeah. and uh, he he noticed like certain frequencies uh, was in, there a fan in a lot of no what? in a lot of these places that that would reverberate that would uh, come back with uh, acoustic qualities that were similar to uh to what he had been working with so you know, michael persinger is kind of the guy that i uh i sort of uh, give him credit for linking the idea of emf he was trying to field fluctuations uh and paranormal activity you know he he's kind of the guy who came up with that because he's the one who said you know it makes you you know these low intensity em fluctuations are is what make people have these paranormal or spiritual experiences and so then that's when people started actually detecting for em uh field spikes uh during paranormal oh, yeah, investigations sure. yeah and it you know, does so I kind of, I kind of, for sure yeah. i don't know why yeah. I mean, I, I couldn't put my finger on exactly dates or anything, but I, I'm going to go with he's probably he's one of the first that as far as reading any reading I've done, you know, like all the ITC work that was done in the, you know, all, all back all the way back to the 50s. Like, uh, um, I haven't seen anybody else uh, correlate EMF to hauntings until. I heard about the God until I saw the God helmet. That was like late eighties, early nineties when that work was done. Right. Right. Fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people didn't always have these things. Hans Holzer are used to keep a compass, right? In the books and yeah, yeah. compass. Yeah. Right. And that, that is right. And that, you know, that, that, 
for that that's reason. the infield right there but like yeah, uh as far as like um yes yeah, there you go that's yeah. that's but that's so uh, he maybe he actually did he ever write anything about that it was just included. Like, it would go on an investigation and put the compass down. And yeah, but did he explain? Down. Yeah. Was there... I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure really sure. I'm, I'm re reaching back to my middle school days, which is a very long time ago. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa. You kidding. guys are probably like, you know. You guys are babies. Fetus at that point. <laughs> they weren't even born. <laughs> 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 yeah, no. uh, well, I, regardless, uh, he, he, he definitely uh, kind of main mainstreamed it you know um i think i feel like i don't know maybe that's my bias ha huh, maybe i'm wrong pons holzer did it when did i mean he was probably doing it a while back mm -hmm. using a, a compass but that's uh i use a compass now i didn't know that yeah, he had done that yeah he does he did and see katie's wrong even occasionally no, no, no. I, I keep while. those those things too, and I've seen other know. people carry them. And the women's sometimes always. they reference Hans, and sometimes they don't. Yeah, I just build I, stuff, I man. I never Anything never claim to be great at history, but but uh, an magnetic shift or an EMF shift is going to affect the compass. So yeah, like well, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. So those fluctuations are, are important, right? Yeah, so they're important. That's maybe maybe Persinger was trying to uh, fi find figure out a way to explain that scientifically. Mm -hmm. And and I do I do think that was his angle. Uh, he he wasn't trying to prove anything paranormal, right? Uh, dowsing rods, yeah, but but dowsing rods in that in that nature. See they see I've been doing some research on dowsing rods, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And are we calling dowsing rods EM field followers? Or are we calling you know what I mean? Because are they in person's hands? It's like they're depends on what you're looking for, right? You might be making the little adjustment. It depends on what you look for, right? Because unmarked, unmarked graves don't have EM fields. Like, why would um, right. you know what I mean? Like, well, so why would? But those come from generational. Damage. Like a, a bucket of water, Kitty. right? Doesn't right. have an EM field yet. They are uh, well. I mean, I'm sure it does, but it doesn't have like a fluctuation, like a strong EM. It's not like a flowing think, creek. Wait, no, no. Creek kind of is maybe on a low. No, I kind of, I see. I, see I don't know, man. Is. Maybe like a metal bucket. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. No, it has to do with, the to do with what did you say, Katie? I'm sorry. We can't hear you. Right. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. If, yeah. Katie or Katie. K K T. Okay. What did you say? I'm sorry. Well, I mean, I, I, I love dowsing rods and, uh, I, an interesting concept. It, it absolutely is. And I mean, I, I, I I actually kind of agree. So with yeah, that. let's hear. Okay, so Linda says some kind of energy, but not electromagnetic. Yes. Agreed yeah. there yeah. on exactly. one point, maybe. But but are dowsing rods also some sort of magnetic uh, tracking tool? I mean, if you know, it's not very I, accurate, obviously, right and it would have to be a really strong field, right? I, yeah, I think it depends on the metal. I think it depends yeah. definitely on the person, definitely your intent. Yeah, way on the person. It's so these yeah. are copper. Also, yeah. so like, so like, also, it's also your. Is it is it like a thing where it's where it's also uh, your own micro muscle movements? Well, that, yeah, that's what I think. Like, are, that they come from your own subconscious, maybe. Yeah, uh, exactly. Kind of like a Ouija board type or situation. Like, or yeah. pendulum. Uh, so yeah. it's, it's probably a combination of a lot of those things. I, I thought that was pretty interesting, you know. Um, yeah, but I like to have. Uh, don't make fun of me, please. I like to have one of my rods a little bit longer than the other one for a reason. Uh, that is a weird right. statement. Okay, well, so well, look, I, this is you and Chris. I swear to God, this Big is your so, uh, well, seventy-year-old right 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 Wow. People be like, people be like oh, she said, right. Wow. I'm like, man, I mean, like that. Yeah, you know it. We got bad like, last night. Oh, <laughs> but, but hey, um, actual generational dowsers, right? They do not use the little dowser, dowsing rods we use. They actually use like six, seven foot dowsing rods. So, well, they also had the, the yeah. oh, God, what were those better. things called? Is that where you're going? No. <laughs> that's what, <laughs> that's why it's got. Get one, bro. Walk. Go on, bro. What was the thing called? Yes, I know no, no, no. 
I know what the pharaoh rods are. No, this thing was like a, oh my God, a divining rod. That's okay. what it was called, a divining mm-hmm. rod. Yes. So, rod y'all should look up size matters. So, <laughs> that's what I heard. I don't know. Baby. Okay. So, Let's go this way. Let's go investigate, girl. So, speaking of size and mattering, man, those divining rods were huge. They were huge. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> and they, Man, I'm so sorry, my bad. Those things, well, you man, said they had know. handles on them, and you'd hold them out in front of you. So the person, <laughs> I'm trying to change the subject here, because y'all. But you're not doing a good job. <laughs> It's really Very odd, said it's really the thick. The strange derailed. I, I love thickness. our audience. We love you. This is so Mayday. Funny. It's Thank a Mayday. of <laughs> copper. Coming in hot. We need a bigger gauge of copper. We, we need a bigger boat. Give me a bigger boat. This the thickness statement. I know. Damn. It's hilarious. Are sorry. you saying girth? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry. I, we're trying to be Please don't be sorry. This is funny as hell. Hi, Kimmy. I guess we're at the after party now here. That's oh, right. Yeah. Hey, Where's birthdays Christina? all around. That's why. Spring break. Birthdays all around. That's Greg right. Khan, Scott Horn. He was uh, Eileen rock. today. I like that. <laughs> Pleasure Rock. Oh, sorry. Pleasure Rock. Right? Like on the love boat. Love boat. Oh, yeah. Love. I, Boom. All right, I'm going back to comments now. <clears throat> okay. Never took me into back to tunnel. adulting. So the God helmet <laughs> was love them a thing. Oh, somebody asked a question. What, what was your about? experience with the God helmet? Somebody oh. asked that. Oh, I did have an experience. That's the big yes. Boat. The experience. Did what? experience. What did you have? Yes, back, back to being the ghost grown ups. If everybody oh. can be. This is yeah. If you guys, if you, if you guys can be a little bit more mature here, well, okay. Yeah. Jeez. But, but I want to know what woman was in my house. I'm kidding. She was. Yeah. So there was a. Uh, so I was wearing the helmet one day. The house was empty. I was uh, in my room, sitting on the bed, wearing the helmet. Uh, I've been wearing it for about thirty minutes, I guess. And uh, I closed. So I had my eyes closed. Wasn't asleep, but. Uh, but I, you could just see the lights strobing through your eyelids, you know, pretty much, mm-hmm. and it's making yeah. patterns, and you know, starting sure. to see like all kinds of crazy. It something blocks it. No, stuff. Right. no. And so I opened my eyes, and uh, at the foot of the bed, uh, there was just the silhouette of uh, an old lady. Is what I saw, like you know, like the outline. I say an old lady could have been anybody's because it was a silhouette, right? But it was like. But you thought old lady. So definitely like a hospital gown it's or right. like a, you know, <laughs> nightgown type situation. Yeah, exactly. It's like you a compression. See that. You couldn't see features. It was just like a shadow blacked out uh, with a red outline. And I was seeing this with my own eyes. What, what now? Nothing. Uh, go ahead. I like the whole innuendo. <laughs> uh, so go on. No, I just got a message from somebody that's in our audience that said, this is the most hilarious podcast ever. Oh, okay. That's you. good. <laughs> yeah, but this old woman yeah, scared the bejesus one. out of him. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. Yeah. So, I, it, it did. It freaked me out. I because, have never seen him. Well, I'm not like used that. to seeing things oh. in the paranormal. Oh, no, dear. Myself, personally, that's not what yeah. you know, he's I'm a not. psychic one. But I don't that's see, where you do a lot of measurements and things of that nature, right? And when there's you something don't see things outright, with your own eyes, you know what I mean? Like, uh, when I see things, if I, okay, if I'm ever going to, if I'm ever going to say, that I've seen anything psychically or whatever with some sort of form of psychic mediation. Is that the right word? Sure. Yeah. Mediation. Sure. Media mediumship. It mediumship. Damn it. Mediumship. There you go. Okay. So if I'm ever going to say I saw something like that, I would say that I saw that in my in my mind. Not like with my eyes, yeah, right? He does automatic, <laughs> automatic That's drawing. That's not how I would see it's... it. I would see Ooh, it in my head. Yeah. It would be like something mm-hmm. like I could see it, but it's not like I'm seeing it. Like it's hard to even explain. That's I really... subconscious. I, I think that subconscious is really tied in. Yeah. Uh, Katie, you just mentioned automatic writing, a yeah. totally yeah. subconscious yes. Action, yes. action. Right. Um, remote viewing is your subconscious just saying, "Hey, what's the first thing that you've got?" Grabbing that little fragment of thought. That is actually a psychic transmission. It is. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I know it's very interesting stuff. I, I had been trying to get him to do it for years, and uh, Cindy, I, I thank her all the time. I'm like, thank you for like t putting it in his head because I know he had it, and he just is like, I'm not doing that. I'm like, come on, let's practice. Let's do it. I know you can do it. And he goes, I'm not doing that. And I, I was like, dude, come on. He goes, I could see it in my head. And I could explain it to you. And I'm like, but he can draw though. You know, and I'm like, draw it out. I want to see it. So then he would start drawing out some of the things that I thought that I had solved, but I'm not a psychic whatsoever. I, it like it'll pop in my head because mm -hmm. I, I'm profiling how I, from the evidence I'm receiving. And anyways, I'm perceiving it from a certain time period and whatnot. And, you know, but he's on a different level. I, I mean, but I thank her for that. She she was like, she didn't even have to mentor him. She was just like, if you don't go and do this, you know, you you have a natural ability of doing it. And she was like, can you just try it one time for no, the show? No, she said, she said, I'll tell you what, I'll use I'll use some of your equipment. Yeah, she used the, the cat balls, but that's not his equipment. And we're like, yeah, oh, yeah, well, everybody has yeah. cat balls. She, ghost box. she did use a ghost box. Okay, good. <laughs> she, I mean, she's ghost box when we did an event um, at the villa last year. She, I lived she up loves to my equipment. Hand bargain. Yeah, she, 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 uh, she did use equipment a lot at the villa. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. some of that is just like not letting logic play a role, right? So you you got to take that information and draw it, express it in some way. Without yeah. letting your brain think about it and try to figure out the riddle and what it means, or try to put it out because a lot of times you'll stop, you'll stop yourself and be like, "Oh, yeah, that's probably the hardest part to get it, past." You I guys think. in the comments who are yeah. watching this show are the only ones that he's he is not denying it. So there you go. You go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He normally Limited denies fuzzy it. cat balls oh, or right. plastic cat balls. He doesn't like people know. knowing. I mean, the chorus put up a bunch of right above fuzzy cat balls or what. Irene says, poor cats that lost their balls for paranormal research. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Oh. Killing me. <laughs> it was funny, though, when Cindy, like, she goes, Katie gave me some equipment, and she throws it down on the bed, and they're like, balls? And we're like, I was like, ha, ha, she threw your balls in the bed, bro, but those aren't your balls. Oh, we no, get along so funny. well. Though. <laughs> it's not the equipment you're known for, though. You know, what was funny known is for I'm, I'm not on like Twitter. This. Right, so I'm not on Twitter, but mm -hmm. somebody sent me a snapshot of a Twitter post, and it was uh, that they had seen, and it was the Travel Channel had posted it, and it said, it said, uh, it said KD's at it again. <laughs> he, he his his uh, brand new invention, motion balls, and it was just two cats. <laughs> flashy light cat balls sitting there and i was like what well oh, whatever Dude, that's you know awful. like i'm not even gonna say anything like what's the point yeah. <laughs> everybody everybody yeah. anybody who sees that's gonna be like this is bs this is kd didn't make those <laughs> they sell those on amazon like, man what are you talking about yeah <laughs> But yeah, so but if you we didn't, didn't know, we didn't get in. Uh, if you didn't know, we didn't get in calls for orders. If for you cat didn't balls, oh, well, so. if you didn't already know, yes. I invented cat balls. Most little, the little flashy lottie. <laughs> that was all me, fuckers. Yeah, yeah, oh, that was my bad. Sorry. Yeah. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Bleep. <laughs> Please, the cats out there. She's making noises. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Yeah, I love it. Don't you try <laughs> to steal my flashy cat ball lot. Patton. There was another question in that somebody had asked that I thought was fair. I'm sorry, I just thought no, this was so interesting. Them, yes, um, they uh, the question uh, was in regards to um, do psychic mediums go into a more a quicker meditated state? Yes. and I can answer from uh, the people, the psychic <laughs> mediums that we, uh, you know, who, who have worn it. Yes, they do. They but they do great. Nobody wants KD's balls. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna have to start That's charging fine. for this stuff. I'm I'm okay with that. That's right. <laughs> Nobody wants them because hey, I don't know. I'm I, I will that. write y'all a, a big Best bill. Show ever. 
It really is. I'm okay with, with that. With that <laughs> I see merch opportunity with cat balls. Yeah. But, <laughs> Katie, so, Katie's balls. So what was her name? I can't. Uh, we were. <laughs> we already went there. We already done this whole thing. No, no. Katie's I, balls. I try to pit my husband out, right? So because I don't want people thinking I'm, I'm. Was that you know, No. Um, it was up here. When? Yeah, they were talking about KD's balls going to KD. No, that was at that was at <laughs> Pitt. Balls. Oh yeah, no, that the was the Pitt Pitt Castle. Pitt Castle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, Brandon, we should get Brandon on our show with them one boy, boy, because this would be. Even... Oh God, you get them two on there. Oh my. Are you kidding oh. me? It's a lot of fun. We're working on our part three with Brandon. Yeah. Actually. Part three. Part three. <laughs> you got to yeah. finish part one. Yeah, we, covered, <laughs> we covered like what? What? That's and... so funny, it, but right, it was gotta, great. Rebirth you know, is where we're going. I think it'd be cool to, uh, if me and I think you know it would be funny. Go ahead. Like, I'm not seriously thinking about this, but it would be funny. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, like it's me and Brandon, it, like it would be so cool if me and Brandon could have our own show, right? Hell yeah! Oh God, like that oh. would be funny. It's, it would be good, but it would also be just fucking. Be awesome. Love you too, Irene. Excuse my language. Um. Yeah, just to throw that that Brandon, apart. Brandon is a, is a trip. But Brandon is on Brandon, you know what? If you're watching this, Brandon, I hope you are. He's not. You're only he's, funny. He's researching. When I'm prompting you to be funny. You got that? Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What's he researching, Katie? Who, Brandon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He um he's probably researching uh well, he's the back of his eyelids right now. Probably, I, I don't, I don't know. He's uh, so some Cherokee stuff, some more Cherokee stuff. Yeah, yeah, some of that. He's researching the water. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, be researching those dishes. Anna gonna get them. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Anna, Anna's got some abilities, and, she, and she's so humble, and, and I, I love yeah. her so much. And she's mm -hmm. uh, Scott. What are you saying? Herding cats. Oh, it'd be like herding cats. Oh my god, with the balls. <laughs> no. What? I think he's talking about because uh, I had said it would be funny to have a show with me and Brandon. Oh god. And he said it would be oh. like herding cats. Oh, me. Yeah. You're impossible, Scott. Oh you can't shit. herd cats. Oh. Wait, I see what you're saying. <laughs> and okay. uh, just so that folks know, since we're talking about Brandon, like when when can they see Brandon on Shaman Sundays? Brandon I saw Cooper? there was a Shaman Monday. Is that I'm not sure if that's a regular thing or oh, is there a oh is he get did he expand now? Well, oh, no. um, I'm, I'm not I'm not sure because I'm put so when I was down there on Thursday, he goes, "Hey, you, your show started like 30 minutes ago," and I was like, "Mine?" He goes, right. "Yeah," and I was like, "Well, I guess you dropped the ball on that, bro." <laughs> I said, I don't know what to tell you on that. I oh, said, you have me working my butt off here. Sorry, today's up. Well, no, I, <laughs> no, Brandon, Brandon, Brandon is, um, is it, oh, I, is it Sky Door? Or is it Sky Door? I, Sky I, Door I and the I think, you know, Shaman Sundays. And I, we saw that there was oh, a yeah, Monday Shaman as well. On it was a yeah. Monday. I think it's that Monday night. Every week that way. Monday it's night. It's Sunday. And, I think he was on this past Monday because he was at a like a location or something, wasn't he? Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, so it was, it was like an exception like to the rule. The El Bano there. So it's basically the Shaman Sundays, and you can find that searching on Facebook. And I know you guys put it out on your page for natural yes. yeah. Uh, which we've gotten a ticker at the bottom, so you can get to know Brandon that way and lots of other cool people. Absolutely, he, he's a great and guy. Marine he, he said Brandon be on our show on the 18th. Wait, hold on. He has to be with us on the 18th. Let me check my schedule. Well, oh, he didn't overbook. Oh, <laughs> Hold on, let me check my schedule. He better, he better not double booked. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Our audience is loving this. I'm just saying. I'm getting pop up messages like. <laughs> so this is campground. Oh, yes. oh, he's good. He's good. He's good to go. Yeah, we did some research on the campground. <laughs> okay, I can't do that. Yep, minutes, yep, but... Absolutely, uh, by the fire pit. Yep. What? Yep. What happened? Unfortunately, I had to go to bed. It was just so oh, well, Brandon. In Pickens. In Pickens. Uh -huh. we, some, we discussed some ghost stories. <laughs> Marielle. Oh, <yeah>. <laughs> it did. <laughs> well, he oh, probably yeah, shouldn't uh, be around no campfire uh, because yeah. he got burned. I'm just saying. 
No, he got burned. He got burned. He got burned. He didn't burn. Sunburn. He didn't Look, burn I, when we, we, we were, were talking, but uh, oh. never mind. We don't want to know what kind of burn. Yeah, though we had a couple of people over there, Becky. Uh, yeah, no, it was yep. with there. Yeah, no, no, go ahead. I'll just leave you it go. alone. T, T, don't go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get the Jiffy Pop out. Please don't. <laughs> Jiffy Pop. Okay. Pull yourself together, woman. I pull myself together, woman. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we're talking about. So I don't, I don't either. either. We're don't good. Either. And so I'm I'm not not like, it's to... some kind of shaman he is. He got burned. He didn't ask the <laughs> fuck. Never mind. Just never mind. That's di- no totally different thing. And here we go. No, nah, just saying we had a good time. That's all. Um, it, it is a good guy. And uh I that's love love show. You have yeah, no we, idea we love Brad. Brad. He did. He's, he's, right. he's, a, he's our little uh gnome. Yes, yes, he is. He's our gnome. We mm. love him. We so, love Brandon. He's yeah, he's a great what guy. What is Rick for you guys? Like, what are you working on that that you can't tell people? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> nothing really. I mean, I've got. I kind of did, yeah. I, no, I mean, yeah. I mean, if I did, if I did, if I was working on stuff that I couldn't tell you, obviously, I'd say the same thing. I'm working on. <laughs> I'm I'm working on reinventing the flashlight method. Uh, really? No, I, I, I'm not actually. No, no. As far as right now, I'm not working on it. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. For TV. He, oh, for TV. Oh, no. no. I'm working on tons of stuff, but not TV stuff right now. No. Uh, no. I mean, he I like think, throws well, a no. bone every once in a while to no, one of the shows. Well, every once in a while, though, somebody will call me and they want a piece of equipment. But um, I do too. I love the flashlight. Method. Like I, I don't, I don't think there's gonna be. I haven't heard anything about. I'll put it this way. I haven't heard anything about it doing another season of Ghosts of. So yeah. there's there's where that is. And that could mean anything. That could mean, you know, uh, that could mean we're not going to do the show anymore. They're just not going to do it anymore. Or it could mean they'll do it again at some other point. Or it could mean they'll do it again at some, mm-hmm. some other point And they might have an entirely new cast. Yeah. You never know. So, so they, they it, kind it, of it is what it is. It's kind of well. deal for me. And so, I hope. You don't uh, totally know what they're going to do. It's kind of up to them. And yeah, they're wondering, yeah, they're too, no, okay, will we be doing season two of this? Or are we? Yeah, yeah. yeah they don't, they don't say anything. Yeah, they, they don't say they, anything. They, so. They'll call them and, and like he's some kind of, you know, in the like well, no, secret service or no, they're like, hey, like you got to you got to be down here in two no, weeks you with your whole entire week. freaking lab. And really? yeah, uh huh, yay. They give you, they give you a bunch of, uh, <laughs> they give you a bunch of, uh, they give you a pretty good bit of time ahead. You uh, uh, no, KD made a box for Zach. Uh, Scott asked it, it he uh, was yeah. pulling away from I paranormal did. shows. Do you see yeah, a friend there? No, I, I don't think I made Zach. No, 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 I don't think it, Zach is at all. Uh, he probably doesn't even know KD. Bothered by, no, he probably doesn't even know who I am. So no, I don't think it's anything like that. I don't think anybody made anybody mad. I just think that the whole network is in a weird place right now. And, Do you uh, think they're pulling away from paranormal shows? I don't or? know. No, I don't no. know about that. No. I don't know about that. I mean, they might be because you know there are. It does go. There's like ebbs and and you know flows. So it might it might go up or down at any point. They might back off for a while on paranormal shows and they might kick it back up. It depends on what people are wanting to watch, you know. So uh, related to that, did you get a chance to meet Ozzy when you were working with Jack? Osborne? I did not, unfortunately. I've never got to meet. Ozzy. Come on, come on. I know, I know right? Yeah, I know, it. I know. No, I got to. No, I talked to Jack just a, a handful of times. Recently, was, recently, yeah. Well, no, I talked to his. Oh, his. Oh, what was? Uh, I talked to his, his people. His people. People. Right. I talked to his people. So. Yeah, yeah, he's a good guy. Oh, that's cool. that's cool. that's yeah. Way better than us. I think yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> way better than us. <laughs> yeah, talking to Jack. Yeah, he... No, I talked to Jack a, a, a handful of times. He seems like a nice dude. He's real thorough, too, because he wants to make sure that... I don't think... I don't think uh, he's real thorough about the equipment. He asks a lot of questions because he, you know, doesn't want... I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Well, yeah, he's so I mean, thorough. Like He just wants to make sure that I don't know. It's doing what it what he says it's supposed to do. Well, they, they don't want to send him out there like looking stupid. I mean, 
obviously. And that's right. what you do. You have people that work for you that don't want you to look stupid. No. <laughs> that's what I would want. Sure, well. of course. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what they it is. So they do, they do a good job when they do stuff. I, I like, I like awesome. stuff they do. And that's, yeah. I, I approve. So, mm-hmm. yeah, whenever they call me and they want a piece of equipment, I, of course, I'll, I'll be glad to hook them up. Um, yeah, but uh, we do uh, have a couple okay. of our own ideas of some things that we would like yeah, to yeah, our own shows. To do, um, you know, as far as like just in the realm of like being a pitch, though, that's about all it is. But we, we have some ideas, some stuff we want to do. And I, obviously we have, we still have Supernatural Inc., you know, the, mm-hmm. you know, the, we have our business. Uh, we have the website, Supernatural Inc., dot store no it's, dot no store. now now if the other if godfather was watching we he the would best be, website it's, it's store it's store dot supernatural dot ink can you tell us we why the, the, we got the best paranormal equipment we got the best ghost boxes you, you, do. you have some money says it. It. Yeah. believe me it's true yes Believe us, we're we're all on board with it, and we use it a lot. We do ITC experiments on the air a lot, and this box gets broken out quite a bit. Quite a bit. This is a, a very loud box. Um, yes. You can hear it from far away. There's no like problem with amplification or anything like that. There's a speed control on the side. I think it is pretty much a predecessor to the Nanocom X that you offer to yeah. everyone else. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. And, and it has the nanocom brain, which is a little different, right? So it's a little smarter than your average spirit box. A little smarter. It, it does things. The size why? goes up or down, you know, it does something else. It's doing random it's not a linear scan based on something. something. Right. Yeah. Well, I already tell people what it does. Well, it's scanning, it's scanning randomly through the radio stations at random speeds, but the speed range, well, on that one, on the one you have, it's adjustable, right? So you can yeah. adjust the, the random the, speed. Yeah. Right? You could turn the sweep rate up or down. Well, it's not the sweep rate. You're not adjusting the rate. You're adjusting the range that's available. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. So I, I don't know. I don't know. So if you turn it all the way down. A, a way to adjust the, the, I don't know, amount of um, non-linear scanning that it does. That's, uh, that's a good way to say it. Yes, yeah, not linear. On off. There's a sort of filter on there for noise. Um, it's got a few things going with it. That was my idea. I asked him. I was like, I was like, can we have something to? But... Thanks, Scott. Yes, it was it's the girl. Yeah, the woman. Now you can make it scan um, linear in a linear fashion, but it well, will kind of like cling on to certain like areas. Oh yeah, uh, that one. That one you have uh, like uh, you have you, a switch. You jump around, yeah. Yeah. That one you have the switch on it, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. you can switch between the linear scanning mm-hmm. and random with the muted and That's the correct. random. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that that one. Okay, I didn't realize. So I he's the only that one that long. has. That was yeah. That was probably that, the first he, one like that. That I man. Yeah, I think they, it's two people that have that one. So Greg Koss yeah. has one, and his is a little bit different than ours. Different. And then ours is different than I believe the next one that you made. You had said. And I think eventually it becomes the kind. Nanocom X. Yeah, and there hasn't many people bought those anyway. Yeah, Not there's one people. right there. Yeah, I have, have I have one right well, here. Well, that was that was my that was my personal box but KD made for me. And... Most people haven't bought these, but you're free to do so. Heck yeah! To. You can head right on over to store dot supernatural dot ink. We like the coffin shape ones. Oh god! Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, those. A lot of people like those. Can I ask you a question? Do no. either of you have? <laughs> Sorry. Do yes. either I just composed myself, so okay. <laughs> Do either of you have like an, not an attachment, but like like you have a favorite box that you like to use all the time? I like all of them. You do. You like all of them. Okay. I, I yeah. I, I have a Katie Holtz box. I have Plinblot's box. I got Austin's boxes. Now now, I'll use the SB seven. Thanks, Beth. I, I don't uh, I I don't use SB11. Oh, yeah, I, I don't like that thing. Yeah, I like the SB7. It's I noisy. like the SB7. It's a very noisy box. The wet box. It is a noisy box. It it is a, a eleven. Noisy people, now they yeah, have a um, noise gate on what it. They want, you yes. know what I mean? Yeah. 
It yeah. depends yeah. on what you want. What and what works to get. and what Agreed. works for their investigation. Whatever, yeah, uh, Which is why I asked you that question is because I am drawn to that box and I, I get a lot of, out of it. And also the SB, what is it, SB7? Which uh, yeah, we have an SP7 and an SPOX. And that like one, I SP, yeah. A lot of yeah. people like the SP7. I still yeah, have well, an We got a whole, we got a of them back there. The what we don't have is like a nice Frank's box, like a real one. I'm not fond of the SPOX. Collectible. I don't type. like the SPOX. That stinks. No. Sorry. Um, we have three of them, and we let people, because uh, most people see them, you know, being advertised. And so they time. typically yeah. want to use them so so we have three of them and, and i prefer the i prefer the sb7 over the s box all right so you is guys that, i'm sorry I'm is sorry. it because of the frequency ranges and the sweeps no i know a lot of people like a seven for a certain sweep rate that the right. speed, that, yeah, yeah right yeah because the s box doesn't go fast enough correct for me well, and, and it's so it, the linear is I, it, it like hangs on, yeah, and on you, things a little too much. Sometimes. It's like we can it, tell right? if it gets when, a thing, it's supposed to and, kind of stick up, but it yeah, doesn't. And that happens, it. right? But when, but to get past that, when you're having that, you have to be, you have to have the ability to turn the speed up to push through that, you know, that hanging when it hangs on the on that that tune station you know for that split second okay uh clinger we'll be able to go faster <laughs> to go back to terry our... just don't think about it well it's hard because it took me months to figure this this to get in in tune with what i was listening to so it takes a while um yeah. for some well, people. you have to find a box that you could tolerate yes. first yep. of all yeah find that's a box right. you could tolerate right. Right. That's asking. that has a sound that's it might it may not be pleasant, but you want it to be like something that you can tolerate and listen to mm -hmm. for a while because the best way to kind of train your ear to hear responses yes. is to just listen, just turn it on and just have it playing in the background while you're doing something or whatever. And I do that a lot. I, I've, I do it all the time, uh, testing my boxes. But uh, I, I prefer my ink box, the original ink box. Yeah, that's that that's one my is my favorite. That's a lot of people's favorite. Yeah, mm -hmm. because that's if what you, it looks like a boom box. The, it, well, yeah, it's it a boom box style. If you want static, you just throw it on shortwave. You get static, and it's mostly static. You get you get mm -hmm. very little radio uh, interference from mm -hmm. shortwave. Well, I say interference. That's what's that's what. Greg's comment radio. about practicing, I think, is a really good one. And I, I think the more you use the tools, That's the better right. they work for you because your there's intense. nothing between your own consciousness and right. the, the electronic device that does mm -hmm. seem to make a difference. And we talk about people yeah. like uh, Annabella um, Cardozo. Cardozo. Uh, you know, she spent like uh, something like two years not getting a response listening yeah. to one yeah. shortwave band. And then uh -huh. she started to, and now it won't stop. And it, yeah. it's simply yeah. because you put that dedication in. And that, I think that intent, that focused intent has something to do with it. And that's that magical thing. And it's kind of like, uh, Katie, I know the last time you were on the show, we, we talked about holding the box. A lot of times people put the box on a table, right? And they yeah. play it but if back for them. It, but if you hold it, do. you're kind of conveying some of your own vibrations, mm -hmm. energy, whatever it is, through that box, and at least opening it up to maybe more uh -huh. communication than it would have been. And yeah. I, I thought that was great advice. And more people should do that. Yeah. Yeah, you're definitely you're doing yeah, several things he, when you hold the device. Even even the ink even our ink box S, you gotta hold it. I mean you you, you don't it's have like to an hold antenna. It, you're the antenna, basically. Exactly. And KD doesn't yeah. use an antenna. Most of the time. He is the antenna. I, I <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't I'll use it. I'll ask questions and I'll put my I'll, I'll hold the box, but I'll ask questions mm -hmm. and I'll put my yeah. hand on the antenna. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was going to just ask you real quick. I don't know if you have it in front of you, but when we were at the haunting of the mill, one of the girls, um, Whitney, that was with us, she's never been on an investigation. She came with Mary Lynn Bass tonight. And um, there was a reason why, but she, you had this box. It did have an antenna and it was big and mm -hmm. it was, it, I'm telling you, it was great. It was white. It, it was, was about white. this yeah. wide. Had, that, was that was Austin. That was computer uh, terminal or something. Yeah. yeah, that was Austin Maynard's box. Um, okay. Because whenever, so like I have one of his boxes back here. He custom made me a box because I wanted a, a triangle box. 
I mean, it took him a little while to make it, but no, that was Austin's box because um, you can switch between um, AM and FM yes. on it. Yeah. And um, I liked how it was shaped because it kind of, it, you just, I don't, it was so easy to, no. actually, I got more responses holding it. You did too. Yeah, sure. There's the, where I was going to go with that. Yeah. yeah, yeah I really like thing. that one. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. So here's the thing, right? Where we were at the Hey Good Mill is uh it's kind of like you don't get a lot of right. radio reception mm -hmm. there anyway yeah right so, can't even get the reception so yes <laughs> so yeah so anytime you just set the box down yeah and walk away from it you're not getting hardly any kind of uh, uh chatter come through or anything but as soon as you go near it or pick it up or, or hold, hold it, it you get a lot more through uh, I so like that a, box. Person. So that's definitely that definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, what what yeah. box was? Uh, yeah, I was. That's he a good place to do ITC. Stuff. Well, that box, um, he accidentally packed it in my gearbox, and I was like, "So you're giving me the box? Awesome!" He is no, not if you give me that sonar detector back. And I was like, "But, <laughs> but that's not fair because it did look like a sonar detector. It did. It was. It was I like a, an '80s video game console. Yes. I don't know. It was. It, it was, was interesting. It, 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 it was yeah. Definitely different. It was definitely I, different. I, and, I actually uh, thought that actually you guys had made it. Got a lot of uh, responses from it. Yeah. In fact, it, uh, we it had a spirit that never stopped talking to us for the hour we we recorded with it. Yeah, there there was a mother with uh two two teenage kids with her, and I uh were they no was I, yeah they were using that box and we were back on the trails. And we heard uh, water running because there was like underwater spring and we can hear it. And so, you know, I, I was like, hey, let's test the, you know, see if it has like an EMF. Well, it, it didn't. But the Ooh. compass, I couldn't get the compass Ooh. wouldn't hey. stay hey. still for whatever, for whatever Sorry. reason. Uh, but they, they went further ahead of us. All of a sudden, you, you see one, one of her kids running up the trail. And they're like, go, 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 go. And I was like, why? And everybody took off. And I'm standing there, I'm like, what's going on? And the, and the mom come up and she goes, the, the box told us, leave now. <laughs> and then they heard a, a female scream. Oh, we heard oh, we heard about oh, the yeah. screaming. The yes. Screaming, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. And I was like I didn't hear that. I was like, and where was that? And they're like, Yeah, we're not going back down there. I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, those yeah, trails, trails are awesome. Trail, yeah. yeah. So there was a little girl. There was a lot of stuff. There was a lot on. of stuff. Yeah. So there with that box, with Whitney holding that box, it actually um whistled. At us, you yeah. you don't get whistling in a I you know. I heard that. Well, no, yeah, not, with that we got ha ha ha. Terry said we heard the scream. Yes. So, there you go. Yeah. It, well, me and him heard a scream that no, it was a whistle, and the whistle came out of the box, and then you can hear it in the room. Oh, yeah, so bizarre. There was one we got there. one with that box that was just three of us standing there, which was Marilyn Bast. I myself and Whitney and she, Whitney was the one who was never um, investigated, but she is a student of um, the blacksmithing with Scott. Uh, what is that? Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. So she just came in Hello, and, and just walking around with the box by herself, you know, and I was like, yeah. the, the little girl that Mary Lynn Bast and I were talking to was actually answering on her, on that box when she was by yeah. herself. So that's how this, this all I came about. Singing. Like kids singing, you know. It yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, me, uh, it was automatically not a creepy. It. it was a lot of it was fun. Yeah. Like the Nightmare on Elm Street, you know. Oh, God. The little girls were singing. Oh boy. One, two, one, two, three, 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 three. Yeah. It was That's very similar. Like I couldn't make out the words, words to the song, but I could hear That's like little girls perfect. singing. And it was very similar to that, and it was across <laughs> the sweeps, which was the weird part. And then you didn't hear it anymore after that. That was really right. Weird. Well, we have something like that as well. We have countdowns. We ask how many are here. We got 10. We got two first. And then we got 10, 9, 8. We have a whole bunch of stuff. And that's from the mill in the, not the mill, the a cabin in the back, the bird. Yeah. Line. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That, I, I got emotional. So I went out on Wednesday and I met with uh, Ron. Ron, I think he's like one of the. Yes. Ron. Yeah, so, um, in, in, you know, we were talking history. He goes, well, I want to test your history. And I was like, what? I didn't come here for no test now. But anyways, so we go, you know, the two cabins that were sitting there. And then you have the meal 
on the other side. Yes. So he, he rides me around. He goes, so where do you think these two stones came from? Well, then I heard a giggle and I was looked around. I was like, did you hear that? And he goes, ma, yeah. I was like, maybe they're kids or something roaming around. He goes, well, let's go see. But there was no kids out there. Is that, is that your, he's like, we're on the go cart, you know? And I told him, I was like, I said, I'm packing, bro. And he goes, yeah, but they might be kids. And I was like, they ain't no kids. And he goes, okay, well, I'm going to take you up here to the other cabin. Well, as soon as he opened that door, um, I, I know so much history about the Methodists and uh, especially Reverend Thomas Johnson. But oh my with, God! With, with what? <laughs> what? My like like dad's explain name. It, it is. Anyway, it is dad's it's, it's, he's what? probably Rob Thomas Johnson is my dad's name. He passed uh, away, but yeah, that was weird. Really? Yeah. He was, heard her talk about him. Oh, oh yeah. I, I'm like nobody. I'm like don't talk about my Reverend Thomas Johnson. You know. So was that the Thomas that is in the um sorry guys in the uh what he wrote his name in the petroglyphs that we were talking about KD? No, no. Reverend okay yeah Reverend Reverend Thomas Johnson um ran uh, the Shawnee Indian Mission that, which was a school for Native Americans mm -hmm. not just for Native Americans that, that there were other um. Children. people there that there were uh lots of different uh, foreigners or and and american native americans uh mm -hmm. not just you know but it the property was owned by the shawnee indians and and actually they just gave it back to the the native americans uh shawnee indian mission it's the oh, oldest God. standing location that's still in kansas right now um and they gave it back to recently back to the the native americans there and uh mm -hmm. they even declined to do tv shows we katie you know directed people to i mean that place well, is haunted it's declined it or like what happened exactly we can't we hear you pull your, yeah. pull your lounger up we can't hear you oh uh, i said uh, well uh i don't know if they declined or i don't know what happened but it didn't well we just suggested that one of, that a show go there and i think they called and yeah. I don't know. I think they were going, they were having Anything problems. To do with that. Yeah. That's well, understandable sometimes. So, well, we had a contract. Um, I was right in the middle of being this, this whole, like, you know, them like changing over ownership to, to, uh, the Shawnee Indian. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's, that's, that's cool. Whatever. Well, but, they uh, found, they found remains out there, but they have to. It'd be, it'd be even cooler if we could still go ghost hunting. Well, you know, well, it's their territory, so that's true. I know, I know. It's, it's respectfully. Cool. It, it, it doesn't matter because be we we have we re <laughs> re researched it for what like four years straight, four or five years straight, that's and respectfully. Uh, yeah, I, I always I always approach things respectfully. You know, Absolutely. like uh, it, you know, like uh, I don't feel like I've ever like flat out disrespected. Okay, I don't want to say I've never disrespected anybody, a spirit that didn't deserve disrespecting. I'm going to say I've never disrespected a situation that that uh, deserved respect. You know what I mean? Or, or, or where respect was important, right? So there's sometimes where right. you have to, like, you have to do things or say things to get and it's it's uh but in my in my experience it's not like oh, okay well this thing isn't going to talk to me so i'm gonna say whatever i have to mm -hmm. make it talk that's not what i'm saying but like uh there's there was this one place uh it's a cabin this dude supposedly killed a bunch of kids oh, yeah. and uh oh, so the town they mobbed uh, like a lynch mob formed and they hung the guy and they found out the next day he didn't the, do it the guy didn't do it because the guy who did it confessed to doing the murdering wow. the kids or whatever so the guy that they hung was actually innocent so i was uh so i was getting kind of rowdy with the guy like you know as far as like talking to him and stuff uh in an itc session trying mm -hmm. to get him bring him to 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 tell us what happened or whatever you know and i told him mm -hmm. i was like so scribbling just tell us right now what happened with them kids you know are you are you innocent 
Are you guilty? If you're innocent, just say you're innocent right now through the ghost box. And it did it. And it said it just bam, really? right, on, right yeah. on point, right on time, perfect timing. It, it's on video. You can go to a uh, Supernatural Inc. YouTube page and throw that out there. But it's on there. It, yeah, it, it's like old. it's like one minute and 13 seconds. It's <laughs> a little short video. Yeah, it's a little short. It video. sounds more like oh, a straight out question than like antagonizing the spirit yeah, right? no, you know, i was trying to bring well i was trying to like for the record you know yeah. for whatever it's worth i don't know well because know. everybody there was like saying oh he murdered these kids and katie goes i'm putting enough to this well, well let's just find out well, that's you know kind of the point. that's kind of why we do what we do right is to form a narrative uh based on like the results that you get not yeah. the narrative yeah. that you want so like uh so i was trying to be you know th this guy was wronged or whatever supposedly so you, you know and i never heard of this story and i was like well hey you know i feel like these spirits need uh but maybe they do maybe they don't deserve a chance to to have their story talked about or whatever you know uh so but i figured the guy got bad bad the, you know the shit into the stick so to speak mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> and, and, and so i was like so i was kind of hard on him to bring him to the realization that or you know to for him to come a, come through and give us the time of day to admit that you know and, and, and that location um is going to be open um well we're working on it with um because we help work out there it's it's the shoal creek living history museum and they're wanting to invite paranormal teams to have a paranormal uh investigation because there's 11 11 buildings out there um it's a it's a huge location um and there's so many paranormal groups that want to go research it and so um you know the, the parks and rec has a say in it and so does their own board sometimes the ghost just needs punch <laughs> <laughs> Hey, sometimes you gotta do what sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And um I've I've had to stop myself because I, I felt like I was like it it just wanted me to get frustrated and, and I was like and then I noticed I'm like, I'm such a dumbass. This thing was like hyping me up. Dumbass. Get out of my nose, gross. Come on. Uh, so uh, Virgil. Hey Virgil, Chris and me on the left. I don't know where you are, Virgil, on the left. I'm sorry, but hey, Terry Christmas. Marks. He's Terry, on the left. Terry Marks is from um, 30 Dark. Uh, what is it? Dark. Yeah, 30 Dark Paranormal. Don't do that, because we screw this up every time. And um, they let me hear the scream of the child. They picked it up on their actual phone on the recorder. Uh, uh, hey, the good. Yes. Yep. You can hear a child coughing. You can also. There's another one where you hear the scream. It's really did they weird. send it to Brandon? Does Brandon have it? Terry, did you send it to Brandon? I'm not sure. I'm Anybody not sure. who got any good stuff at the Hey Good Mail, yeah, we, please send it to Brandon. Yeah, because we need to we need to do and we want to put together if y'all are okay with that because yeah. Thank if you, you send it if you send it to okay, so if you send it to us, you hereby authorize us to use your likeness and your video. That's fine. For well, whatever uh, we want, for whatever we so hereby choose yeah. to, for thou in thy thine future. So send it to you or Brandon. <laughs> so so as, as above, as above, so below. Damn, skip. That's right. Spirit to be saved. Yes. So I, wisdom. I, yeah, I was gonna say. Um, after that we uh, actually uh, we need to talk to you after the show there's something that i would love to um try to invent like try, just to invent to see if we could do it and people contact them and uh yeah you. yeah there was somebody had asked if kd no, sells schematics and he's like i don't sell schematics what do you want i'll tell you i'll help you oh, shit i was gonna actually use that word <laughs> Yeah, no, he, yeah, Katie's like, well, he'll help you. He does, there's, he's like, there's all not right, really cool. any secret, uh, I all guess. Right. I mean, I can't speak for him. He's right here. Here we go. No, it's awesome. We can definitely talk about that stuff. Yeah. And there's things we're, we're trying to do. Yes, call Chris. me, call me, Kristen. Um, we'll talk. Uh, all <laughs> we'll right, talk. I'll call we'll, you. We'll talk. We'll, we'll talk. talk. <laughs> coffee or something. Uh, uh, 
coffee. We'll get a coffee or something. Coffee. We'll, coffee. we'll have coffee tomorrow. It only takes we'll us about 20 hours yeah, to get there. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm just excited over here. Uh, Good Lord, you all right? I'm fine. <laughs> all right. <laughs> My body's aching. Yeah. All right. Well, this has been really a lot of fun. Do you want to tell people like where they can reach you guys and like where to watch what's next for you to do you? Uh, well, there you go. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. So, um, you can, um, reach us through our store page. Um, you can email directly through the store page at, uh, supernatural, uh, store dot supernatural dot ink, or you can go to, uh, supernatural dot ink. Or you could go to supernaturalinkparanormal.com um, or on Facebook. You get on Insta. I'm on Insta. Insta. Katie gets on Insta. It's not like Snap. And I'm on Tiki Talk. Oh, boy. <laughs> so <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm on, tic, I, on TikTok on a lot. Um, so Goofing you can message us videos. there. But I Girl. couldn't get the Supernatural Ink Paranormal name because my daughter had already swooped it up. Oh. Oh. Events. So the next events that we have. Okay, so we have Potosi, Missouri. Oh, let me get... Scott. Thank you, Scott. We appreciate it. That, yes. that one sold out. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. They would have to inquire inquire about that. So check these events through because some of them may be sold out. Yeah, our investigative team is Paranormal Task Force. Um, so okay. you can go to their website or their Facebook page. Uh, it's PTF or Paranormal Task Force. Uh, so uh, there's uh, Potosi, Missouri, and it's four locations that you get to research um, in, in this historic town in Potosi, Missouri. It's on the border of Arkansas, Missouri. Um, and then there is uh, the LaBulb Mansion. It's in Arbeline, Kansas. Abilene. 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 Well, what's weird, uh, that's where... Like um, uh, while Bill Hickok had, he was marshal of the town and he left there to go to Deadwood and pass away tragically after that. Uh, yes. Hershey's chocolate got their start there in the LaBelle mansion. The dug, the basement, the dugout of the LaBelle mansion is from the Hershey family. And obviously they build up, but they initially wow. moved from there to go to, um, was it Pennsylvania? No. Anyway, cool place. Yeah. Thanks, place. Hershey, oh. Pennsylvania, yes. Which yeah. is a yes, and then we have the uh, Josephine Hotel. Now, that one, um, you can actually rent a room and stay overnight, um, and that is May 20th. Where and is then, that? I'm sorry? Where is that? Is that the Hershey? Josephine, uh, Josephine Kansas. Kansas. Pennsylvania. Oh. Where are we going? It's in, oh. <laughs> oh, how can I forget? Gosh. Uh, it's okay. You're Holton. you're doing Holton. great. Yes. Holton, Kansas. Kansas. Josephine Hotel. Um, it, these are all these are all historic sites, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, Everyone else. Oh, Pow Wow and Jefferson City. I'm sorry. Wrong, wrong, that's something else. Sorry. Guaranteed. <laughs> Historical site. Um, and then uh, we have Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Uh, that is... Eureka Springs. That, that is... They, she called it a... A little boy's dream. Metacon. A Metacon because it's like a oh. metaphysical con. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, and KD yeah. speaks on Saturday and then Supernatural Inc. speaks on Sunday. And then um, we have... I am also Supernatural Inc. And then we have uh, PTF, uh, Pythian, with PTF Pythian Castle. <laughs> well, Brandon's supposed to be coming. I mean, I can't through all of them. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, we hope so. I. It just depends because he is also going. He's also doing um, training as a mentor, so he's uh, and retreats. Yes. Yeah, uh, and then we have the Pythian Castle on June tenth. That's a Saturday, so you you can all these should be on our Facebook page. Okay. Um, <laughs> What? The little voice from beyond. That's where I can think of my head. Okay. You're tripping me out. <laughs> you guys, guys want to try getting a bird in Manchester? The birds are really birds are Virgil, really we had to remove Virgil. Yeah. Virgil was our previous spammer. It's, like, okay. it's funny, though. It's, 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 like it's kind of funny. Yeah. It's, it's funny. funny. Sorry, Virgil. 
had to go. He, he, he goes, goes there and then he goes. He gets there. Go that, that, that was funny. Sorry, bro. <laughs> What we had for knickers or glue? What does that mean? Knickers, yeah. Knickers, it's English and knickers. Get to play in knickers. We we have a really good friend that. um, (laughs) I I don't know. We're we're gonna have to ask Gary and see if he. Oh God, you're killing me, Katie. Stop. What am I supposed to And then, um, yeah, the Pythian Castle is in Springfield, Missouri. Um. Awesome. And that is June 10th on a Saturday. And that one, that one always sells out. People are actually standing outside. Come on. I uh, hope people don't show up. It always sells out. Always wow. sells out. Um, oh. Yeah, that, yeah, it might be sold out. I, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, well, that's Founders Day. That's not, oh, that's, uh, sorry. Okay, yeah. Well, can we, can we July is the KCI July. Expo. I'm I'm hurrying. There's a lot there, man. I'm trying to do it. That's not as many as it was. Okay. You got all the time you want. We're not rushing okay. you. Yeah. So, so there there's a, another Meta Metacon like um, at the KCI Expo, 14th, 15th, and 16th. Now these are uh, hosted by a team called KC Paranormal, not like K dot C. Is not K dot C. Yeah. KC. Yes, in Kansas City. That group is a paranormal group, and they they they're they're they put on thousands of people come through there. It's so crazy. Last year, <laughs> we noticed KFC was a lot better in the south than okay. the north. That was one thing, one revelation we had in our trip to Pickens. When Nick is, when. Oh, I just looked up our location to go to Kansas, and it's going to take us uh, 23 hours and 18 minutes to get there. Oh, damn. I think okay. um, we all need to invest in an airplane. We do. Yes. Us, like like Motley Crue and The Who and Led Zeppelin and shit. Like, why not? I'm, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm dead damn serious. Yeah. Let's do it. All the things I could do was just uh bro with jet money dude that, oh, yeah we all had such a long drive man i know we were dragged out like this you guys time. you guys had what 14 <laughs> hours days. you I, can, yeah you said 14 hours yeah it was four yeah yeah oh well, yeah that was yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah he is we drove <laughs> straight <laughs> through we we're like eh. and then <laughs> august uh, also august 25th and 26th and 27th is a paracon that is in Overland Park, uh, Kansas. That is in Overland Park, That's Kansas. The funny thing about it's, beds, Mike. Oh, and then uh, se- September first is a Girl, Friday. Yep. Is the, this is our event that we're hosting? This event is some. It's at the McIntyre Villa, um, on September first, Friday, from eight p.m. to two a.m. and then. Uh, these are all this entire schedule is on your Facebook page, Supernatural Link, correct? It, it is it, something, day. yeah. Like every time, it, now we do have Good moderators morning. that pin things, and mm-hmm. so stuff kind of gets a little wonky. But you can always go to Supernatural Ink Technology Facebook, yes, please. <laughs> there you are. You could go to Supernatural Ink Technology Facebook page, nobody messes with that really because that's Austin saying Austin started that page and uh. We're, me and him are the only ones that really post on that. And, and KD's page or my page. Yeah. All right. We got this one handy. Yeah. Yeah. Supernatural Inc. Paranormal.com. Hey. Hey. Okay. Now, if you went to Supernatural Inc. Dot, dot, oh, super, the old well, no. If it's if it's Supernatural. Inc., it's not up being updated. Oh, okay. That's the Google one. That's the one that y'all want to go to because, uh, yeah, the God are, are whatever. Um, messed up, Aaron. If he messed up our site and it's not updating it for whatever reason, Web that Master? was last year's. Why do they get names yeah, like, have... after, like they're wizards or something? Right? It's like what, they're. Do they're I know? I, I'm saying the webmasters of a website. They get that cool title, webmaster, and it just sounds like they're a wizard or something. And then the site's not updated. And like, hey, wizard. Well, <laughs> they're not even doing it anymore. It's all those programs. Well, it's. 
Well, it's supposed to generate directly off of the dot com page to the dot ink page, and it's not even really updating it through here either because none of the yeah. I, I'm yeah, sorry, I will get on there and fix that. Well, the little bald mansion is on there. That that one is one of uh, other than Afterlife Paranormal. Sorry, I probably page. picked the wrong page. I apologize. Go on the Facebook page, and everything's right there on the Facebook oh, page. Oh, yeah, I that place right there's uh, got some. Mm, are, are you? I, going, I don't. Uh, going go to ahead. Michigan Paracon. It's the only one Linda Morrison can get to. Are you guys going to be there? No, uh, no. Yeah. So. Mm -mm. No, okay. we don't have that on. Yeah, no, that's not on our. My dad will be at the Tennessee one because he's helping with that. Your dad? That's awesome. Thanks. Yeah. I yeah. would. I would go. I would do more, but I. I have a job. I have like a like a regular job too. So does so does so does Kristen. Kristen. So yeah, it's hard we, to, we all we all have. We all have real jobs, if yeah, you want to yeah. call them that. Well, but they're boring. They're not fun to talk about. No, not at all. I want to talk about ghosts and shit. That's all I did is I went to, you know. Beer boxes and shit. I didn't check this is my ghost and shit. Well, he just turned down a, a show to go for a whole week, and he turned it down. He's like, I can't miss work for that. Yeah, they don't want to pay you, man. That's true, because you were upset about from what we remember from uh, the mill because you had to take another day off and you weren't sure if they were going to do that, you know, help you out with that. And you're yeah, no, they weren't. You they were awesome. You're, well, you're... no, my job would have, yeah, my job would have, yeah. but it's like, why, why, why am I going to take off work, man? Like, I get it. It's cool. Don't leave them stranded in Los Angeles or something. Wrong. Who knows? Don't get me wrong. Seriously. I'm yeah. Like, I'm, not That's okay. names. I'm not saying anybody, but like, uh, I'm just joking. Like, there's no contracts or anything involved. There's no Miss Katie don't like that. None of that. Oh. So I'm not. I don't want to get stranded. Linda no. says uh, the Muggle struggle you know? is what they call it. The Muggle struggle. Well, that's kind of cool. I can relate to that. That's so funny. The Muggle struggle, right? The Muggle. Yeah. Um, uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah. Like a regular. The Muggle. Gary said webmasters live in their mom's basement. Yes. <laughs> they do. They do, and they cast spells. He's wicked funny. Oh, Linda says she can only get to them like she. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um. Yeah. Michigan's far away. Yeah. Far. Well, we did go to Detroit, Michigan. I liked it. That was a, that. Me and him had fun driving, and it started snowing. I don't know. Me and him just have fun. Just you know. Yeah. I can't. I don't know. Because I we, mean, it's not purposeful. It's just kind of. I don't want to call it fun. It's it's an adventure. Yeah, yeah. We understand after that drive that we had. You don't, you don't purposely do it on purpose, right? It's like you don't like. Oh yeah, we're gonna set out. Hopefully, we'll hit a snowstorm or something like that. <laughs> it just kind of happens, right? Yeah. And it's like yeah. shit. You don't want to call it fun. <laughs> Listen, but it was it was an experience. It was an I, exactly exactly. I think it was what um. 14 no 12 hours into our drive all we saw we went through the entire state of virginia right and all oh. we could see was cows on hills and uh -huh. with ducks on it and we were so overtired i started quacking like a duck and he started doing like a frogman voice cryptid it's and a cryptid we did that it's a little known cryptid called the frog is it is that your calling yes chris that's chris. chris's calling yeah it's out there so no no he said was in virginia He's semi famous. Yeah, we, it was so overtired. I go. What's Scott saying over there? Yep. Yolo, awesome. Scott's birthday. He says YOLO. Oh, we love YOLO. You only live once. That's right, that, dude. I heard that. Love you. Yes. If a spirit had to write something down, could the pen they were writing with contain supernatural ink? Uh, sorry, uh, poor, poor uh, Jeff. Uh, ah, no. I like that. Like the invisible ink pen she would get when you're like. You I'm know. sorry. Hey, that's the God helmet. Uh, <laughs> or the, the I, ghost helmet. Well, Bing. I have yet to see a spirit right. Dang it. Mm. But KD was saying something that, um, Katie, you were saying um, uh, KD does automatic writing? Yeah. Yeah. So he can yeah. channel. So you have like a, they call it muse. Yes. For you when you are, I would love to do that. Yeah. That's it, really cool. Well, I'm trying to, he won't release any of his pictures. 
Uh, come it, on, it's for us. I, I Hi, can sublimination. Yeah, you I got can, it. I'm oh, gonna yeah. pin them. I could pin them on like metal, nice metal, um, you know, well, things. And and he won't. He won't. He well, he'll give them to me. And he's like, no, 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 my stuff. I mean, I'll, I'll <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Probably not because I do that to him. Like, no, that's my I shit, man. <laughs> he has a whole book. Don't let him lie. He's got he's got all kinds of no, stuff, I'm man. Getting caught up on all boxes and everything, man. I just haven't had it. His- yeah, dude, yeah. dude, you just got done investigating. Yeah. What'd you draw? I'm just kidding. I'm giving him a hard time. Oh, I didn't get to investigate much because we, we were doing the event thing. <laughs> well, we, 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 we were we were we were going to like really investigate this place. Hey, I wanted him to set up that Faraday cage with the laser beams and well he got the laser beams but not the Faraday cage. Yeah. Dang. Yep. Okay. Did he get out the brainwave radio at least? <laughs> no. Uh, no, I got it out, but it didn't it wasn't working. Ooh, I got some messed up stuff on that paranormal puck though. I love the paranormal puck. Oh yeah. Those is that the one that's a, a bit like an ovulus? Kind of like it gives you some yeah. word? Yeah. yeah you word bank or something. Oh, I love the paranormal uh, puck. It's uh, pretty accurate. Do you I mean- like it because I like my environmentals. I, mm-hmm, I'm real big on environmentals. If I didn't have to use my phone with it, you know? Okay. I, I don't want to have to use my phone with, with it. Okay. Yeah, you, we weren't it sure takes pictures. Of- because I'll put my phone... I put I put it away and it's like you know I don't have time to be messing with my phone and all this other stuff so I just I want whatever I'm messing with to be like. But yeah. see, I have all my. It's already complicated enough as it is. Mm-hmm. Throw in oh I have to use an app or something you know like a, most of the stuff we do so I don't like to have to use my phone. I'm not. Just... I, who have, if people want to use apps, I don't have a problem with that. I right, use right. an app for my you want to put on like an. Uh, airplane. airplane mode and just take it off so it doesn't affect K2s or throw any kind of EMF. Yeah, yeah and you can't use a puck on airplane mode. That's the only thing that sucks. It's yeah, you but it doesn't matter if you're on airplane mode or not because if you have a regular uh, K2 yeah. meter, it'll go off even yeah, I'm not really because of the 5G. It, it yeah. It's, anyway, right? like, are you even, we test crap probably. all day. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see what happens, right? If you don't test it most, you won't know anyway so it doesn't sure. matter we're using scott's um scott what is it called it, it, i don't i'm i can't say that it's like a rem no, it's, a it's way better than that it's an electronic theremin. yeah the, pod the vibration yeah we maybe? have it it's an electronic yes theremin. i it's I, like a rem pod a rem pod yeah a rem pod because they're rem and Yes, I'm excited to get that device in the mail. I'm super excited because I don't use REM pods. You know oh, yeah. Yes, we have like three of them. <laughs> my my kids love to play with that thing. Oh, I bet that's cool. Yeah, they're like, oh, it's just an electronic oh, like- version instead of an analog electronic version. You know. <laughs> yeah. Reggie says, I, "I feel the same way, Katie. I like to keep it simple but effective." Yeah. Yes. Terry says, "Horns up." Horns up. Horns up. Yeah, Terry. Well, I know it's getting late, guys, and, yeah, and you, we love you. This was about a wonderful conversation. Oh. Um, Thanks for having us. Oh, thank you for oh, joining us. We, we really enjoyed. Thanks for having us. We're I'm so sorry over. if we were like not professional. Oh, we're goofy. We're the goofy ones. <laughs> Don't worry. Very sorry <laughs> if we weren't professional. You're professional. Oh my god. This is how we do it. Yes, yeah, this, this is how, is how we, we do it. it. Like, there you go. like uh, I, I don't want to feel like I'm at work because exactly. you guys are so great, you know. What's his name? You know, we don't want Brian you to feel like you're Is it Brian? Have a conversation. That's all. Is it what tonight? Is it Brian McKnight? Brian oh, McKnight. God. What's the Moon name? This is how we do. Ooh, oh my god, I'm hungry too. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, who sings that song, man? I don't know who sings that song. That thing came out in the 80s. We're so old. We were well, hold on. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it was catchy. Uh, yeah, it could be. It's Moon Knight. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for having us. Thank you. For hey, uh, we hope to see you guys again sometime this year. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah, we're absolutely. We're, we're going to really try are. to coincide some events so we can run into each other because it was a lot of fun meeting you guys. Um, we, like we had a blast. Person, I, we loved you know? this trip as much as it was a pain in the ass to drive the 18 hours and everything back. And, back. and we're like too old for this crap. And, and but it was an adventure. It was worth every second. Hell so, yeah. Hell yeah. Me and KD we're just camp. camp. We don't care. We've been doing it for so long. We finally are like, just pull over. No, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what we got to do. So it break down the, the main ride a little bit. Spend a night somewhere along the way. And uh, we'll be refreshed and enjoy the hell out of it. And uh, we did anyways. It was did. so fun. And we wish we uh, had we more time. That was the it. thing. We need again. Time. Yeah. yeah. Um, we weren't sure we were like a time. week long paranormal time. hippie fest. A hippie yeah. fest. You know, I was thinking the last time the only thing that we were missing we we, we needed music. Man. And, uh, yeah, I told you we we there needed ninety three point three come out. No, we needed to have like a DJ. Oh, playing. yeah, that we would be have good. a lot yeah. of bluegrass band we, playing. Yeah, there, that would that would have been. No. Well, okay, wait, you need to make it happen then. Make it happen, homeboy. Uh, we'll make, make it happen, Captain. That's, That's right. I'll do that. He's going to make it happen. Yes. All right. right on. Next That's year, what we'll do next time. Yeah, we're going we'll try to, to get to Michigan. We'll see. Oh, okay. Yes. Sign us go. up. Put us on a dotted line. We'll be there. Yeah, we told Brandon that too. And uh, yeah, year. thank you so much, guys. Thank this you. has been a blast talking to you. We Bye, have guys. Thank time. you. Hold on one second before we. We leave, okay? Okay. Just ask a question. One second. One second. <laughs>